The Moyne City Council is considering some new measures to deal with homelessness. They are methods city officials believe will help get those who are unhoused off the street. But advocates believe it could all be detrimental to people's lives. Yesterday, an ordinance that bans camping on public property as well as sleeping in out, uh, several outdoor public spaces passed its first reading. Another ordinance shortening the amount of notice people get before abandoned camps are taken down also passed its first reading. Local 5's Laura Bowen caught up with Homeward, Polk County's homeless planning organization, about their concerns with the legislation and how homelessness has evolved in Polk County. Homeward's executive director Angie Arthur tells me that until recent years, homelessness in Polk County was on a downward trend. Now, however, the numbers are rising. In what we call our point in time count over the last few years, we're seeing that uh, the overall numbers are starting to increase a little bit, but we're seeing a larger increase for folks who are experiencing unsheltered homelessness. Not only are those numbers rising, there's been a change in who becomes homeless. We're seeing more seniors becoming homeless for the first time as older adults, um, as well as we're right now have a significant number of families that are experiencing homelessness. Which brings us to Homeward's first concern with the proposed ordinances. Polk County not having enough resources. As of July 15th, had 133 families on the wait list for family emergency shelter. While the language in the proposed ordinance says police will give someone found sleeping outside or camping a one-time transport or directions to a shelter to avoid a misdemeanor, there are multiple reasons some people don't go, according to Homeward. Maybe they have PTSD or some other challenges that staying in a large congregate setting might be challenging for, for them. Arthur is also concerned about the proposed fine for violators. She says it just adds to the barriers they face. We know long term that fines can have impact if you are wanting to renew your license, um, car registration, sometimes even finding housing. Council members have clarified that violators can appeal fines in favor of community service and that a lack of accessible shelter space would be seen as a valid argument against a misdemeanor. However, violators would still be cited. As for that appeals process, Arthur says she still has a lot of questions as to how it works. Arthur also voiced concern over people losing their things to camp cleanups. She says while the ordinance would offer temporary storage options, more details need to be figured out.